instruction about searching for files in Folder Viewer. Select Search Files, select fir File Search, the first option to open the search panel. The first thing you have to do is to set the folder where the search will start, in this case Test Photos. You will select the pattern to search for, in this case only JPEGs. Um, you can set this the file size to be included, you can set a certain date the picture was taken in, and when you click Find, the search will be executed. Well, nearly instantaneously, all the 93 files are listed. Um, just like Explorer, you can right-click on the picture or on the, f the file and you have the context menu and you can have all the functionality you have in the Explorer. You can uh, go to the file immediately, uh, do the other one, go to the file and the file will be selected. You can print the selected files, you see a complete list of all the pictures in, in the list, close them. You can export to, to Excel, to HTML, to text file and XML and you can immediately rename the files using the rename tool which we won't do in this instruction video. Okay, Let's deselect all the files. Um, we can have another one. Suppose we checkmark the properties. In the next uh, search the properties will be included. The search will take some more time because it has to be read from the file, from the hard drive. But when we click it, well, now also the properties like focal length, shutter speed, the flash, the saturation, sharpness, uh, exposure by the metering mode, etc. etc. is listed. Once we have included the properties, we can use the data mining and open some predefined uh, pivot table template, like for instance the ISO versus f-stop. You open them and now you have here the ISO values and here the uh, different f-stops of the pictures currently in the list. And of course you can print it, you get an overview. So um, this is a very enhanced tool to have an overview of your files, in this case pictures. There are a lot of filters to be used, like the year taken, ISO range, focal length, focal length range, focal length in 35 millimeters, the shutter speed, etc. etc. And of course, you once you have your um, your, your pivot table, um, which is well, suited for your needs, you can save the pivot table, of course, to use it again later. You can just dragging them off them, and you can yeah, exclude a new one, and here you have, for instance, the, the f-stop. It's maybe a strange one, but just for the sake of argument, you have here the year taken, and here the different f-stops. Well, like another one, um, for instance, the maker, and here you see we have used in the couple of years the Canon and an HTC and and and, and other, um, yeah. Photos which did have uh, a camera or a maker. We exchanges for the um, well, the model, and here you see the different pictures we're taking with a Canon EOS 1D Mark III and an HD1. Uh, well, it, you can do a lot of funny things with this and save them for later use, of course. You can also have a the results listed as icons. Let's do it again. And here you see that the results are immediately shown as a picture. We have here the Statue of Liberty. Press F4 or we'll right click and open it in the window. Okay. We have another kind of search. This is the file search using Google Desktop. And Google Desktop, let's clear them. Uh, with Google Desktop, if it's imp installed on your hard disk, Folder Viewer will notice it and implement it into Folder Viewer. Uh, it's for the needle in the haystack searches. For instance, we look for a certain docx file, and docx file has to include the word protocol. And when we search, we see that it's very fast. We only uh, see files listed and containing the word protocol in the file name, but also in the content of the file. 
we check this by opening it and well we see we want to use this word uh, we copy it close it again and now we search the file um, the files using th this word it's a Dutch word but doesn't matter if we search again you see that okay we have only the files containing this word and this is a very nice feature of course uh, it's a wrapper around the Google desktop search you can Google desktop uh, you can find Google desktop search on the internet download it install it on your system and um, all of you will, will use it and this is really a nice feature because in the results you there's also uh, the context menu and this is not possible when you use uh, Google desktop search in your browser of course we edit the module find duplicates when you open the module you can set a starting folder where the search for duplicates will start you can add several if you want so we can add for instance the test photos folder as well now the search for duplicates will use the test library for starting point and the test photos as a starting point you can also of course use the chrome bar again but then you have a single starting point for instance the F drive or the E drive we toggle back to the multiple starting point and we remove the photos for this introduction video we want to search for duplicates using the test library as a starting folder and the sub folders when we click on search an uh, application will search for duplicates and you will see it searched two folders found 36 duplicates in 220 files in just over a second you can sort the result using the date created or the date modified when we search again you will see a different order switch back to date created and you can also order ascending or descending when you sort again search again you will see another order and of the results go back to the order the ascending and we search again you will see here that the first file is the original file and of this original file there are two duplicates found the duplicates files are checkmarked by default and when the search is finished and you can see the date created is in an ascending order 5 October 1 11 12 11 and when we you can use folder viewer to delete copy or move the duplicates to an other place on your hard drive in this instance we will copy the files only the duplicates to the other panel at the same time the duplicates are checkmarked so when you click on the delete the files are deleted from the results not from your hard drive you can of course when you select them all control a print the files and you see a nice overview of the duplicates in blue and underlined is the original file and the second in this case the second uh, two lines uh, represents the duplicates as you can see they are checkmarked they have of course the same size because they are duplicates and the results uh, and the algorithm behind it uses a bit by bit comparison you can also export the results to Excel HTML text or XML and finally you can always preview the files you select the first and click on the preview panel on the right side and immediately the file will be loaded and you can see these two files even when the second is a second is a copy and a different file name the program found it as a duplicate the third file in the listing is also the same with a completely different file name and a different location you can toggle the locations on and off with this button then the list is a bit more condensed but you um, yeah you omit some information we omit and remove the, the path and you print it you will see oh, let's select them all
the results are more condensed, but you see the path on the end of the list. It's just what you like. Okay, let's wrap it up. A short summary, well, let's give a short summary. Close the preview. You select the folder where the search will start. You click on search and immediately you will see the duplicates. The duplicates are counted. 36 duplicates in 220 files. Next, you can delete, copy or move them. We have already copied the files to the other panel. And of course, if you want to be sure and um, save them for later use, you can export it to Excel or you can print it and you have a neat um, overview of the duplicates on your hard drive. Of course, um, you can use other files. These are MS Word files, but you can select, for instance, the MP3 files. We're going to search for MP3 duplicates. We have selected the test MP3 root folder. We checked all, click on search, and we found 31 duplicates in 63 files. When we open the previewer, immediately the first file is loaded and you can start playing it. Next, select the second previewer and open the second file. And Welcome. now we're going to play the second one and stop the first. And you will notice that they are identical. They, they have the same file size, of course, and the algorithm full of your users is a bit by bit comparison. And when the files are identical, they are listed in the result table. And you can preview them, um, play them, view them. Let's go back to the beginning. And we have another one. We can do the same with pictures, of course. Check mark all, search for pictures. And we found 31 duplicates in 125 pictures. Open the previewer. And now we can do the second one, and you will see. These two pictures are identical.